fun of us? Yes. You're planning something, aren't you? Am I? You're planning to kill Maggie Evans. I know you are. You lied to Dr. Hoffman. You're not going to leave Maggie alone. You're going to kill her. Do I have any other choice? You don't know how much she remembers. Her memory may not come back. Not the part about you anyway. No, I can hardly afford to take that chance. You... You don't want to kill her. You know you don't. I tried to spare her. But now she's become a threat to my very existence. Oh. I must do whatever is necessary to ensure my safety. And yours. Oh. Why don't you wait? Find out how much she knows. I cannot wait. I've waited too long as it is. When are you planning to do it? When the moon passes behind those clouds and I can walk unobserved in the night. Tonight? Yes, tonight. You can't kill her. I told you, I have no choice. Well, you'll never get away with it. Don't be absurd. But they're all looking out for her. Her father, Haskell, all of them. You think I'm not clever enough to take care of those idiots? Well, even if you did get away with it, think of what'll happen. The whole town would be in an uproar. So? Well, the police will start asking questions. They might even come into this house again. Now, how would they connect me with Maggie Evans? Well, they might. Well, you've been taking too many chances already. You can't go on taking chances. The sooner or later, they're going to find out what you are. You underestimate me, Willie. You forget that I'm no ordinary man. I have the power to deal with fools who come around here asking me questions. And you forget one thing. Dr. Hoffman knows what you are. If you kill Maggie Evans, she might turn against you. She might tell the others what she knows. And ruin her precious experiments, their hopes for fame and glory. <laughs> I doubt that. Well, she might. She said she would. She told you to stay away from Maggie. I can handle Dr. Hoffman. Are you ready for your injection? Whenever you are, Doctor. I must say, I'm very pleased tonight. How so? Because I finally think you're beginning to trust me. Well, why shouldn't I trust you, Doctor? Well, for a long time you didn't. But tonight, for the first time, I think you finally have complete faith in me. Why tonight? Because you're not afraid of Maggie. Or this rumor that her memory is returning. You know I have complete control of the situation, and I do. Of course I know that, Doctor. That's good. That's a relief, because for a moment, I was afraid you might try to harm Maggie, which would be totally unnecessary. I totally. Un I understand that completely, Doctor. Pebbles at my window? I gotta talk to you. I, I, I didn't want to come in the house and wake the others. What's wrong? It's Barnabas. You gotta stop him. Stop him? From what? From killing Maggie Evans. Killing Maggie? He plans to do it tonight. What? He's planning to do it. He told me so. He said Maggie Evans is gonna die tonight. He said that? Those were his exact words. But he wouldn't kill Maggie. We couldn't. Now, you don't know Barnabas. You don't know what he's capable of. He'd kill anybody who got in his way. But he's intelligent enough to know that killing Maggie would jeopardize all our plans, even his very existence. He thinks he can get away with it. He thinks he can get away with anything. But I told him I'd expose him if anything happened to Maggie. He doesn't believe it. He thinks he can handle it. But he trusts me. He knows I have the situation under control. He only said that because he didn't want you to cause any trouble. He didn't want you to know the truth until Maggie is dead, but he's planning to kill her. And he's not afraid of what you might do. Are you sure of this? Well, I heard him say it with my own ears. He's planning to kill Maggie tonight. You're the only one who's got a chance to stop him. But you got to do something right away before it's too late.
can hardly believe this is happening. It's happening, all right. I was so certain that I was at full control of the situation. Well, you don't. Barnabas is harder to control than you think. And he actually said that he was gonna kill Maggie tonight. Yes, how many times do I have to say it before you believe me? I believe you. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to the old house and I'm gonna talk to Barnabas. You think you can talk him out of it? I must. What are you gonna say to him? I'm gonna reason with him. I'll point out the risk involved in what he wants to do. He's intelligent. I think he'll listen to me. I'm not so sure, but you're the only one who's got a chance. We wait here until I come back. Don't you want me to go with you? No, I think I can handle it best alone. I just hope you're not too late. Everything's under control. What do you mean? He's not going to kill Maggie Evans. I managed to talk him out of it. Talk him out of it? That's right. I don't think it's possible to talk him out of it. He doesn't believe anything you say. He, he doesn't think he'll be exposed, and he doesn't think he'll be captured. Oh, I told him something quite different. What? I told him that there's a letter in existence. A letter that's to be turned over to the authorities in the event of Maggie Evans' death. That letter tells exactly who and what Barnabas Collins is. Is that true? Is there a letter? No. There isn't. You lied to him? Yep. Well, Barnabas will know you lied. He'll never believe you. He does believe me. Well, he said so? He intimated as much. Well, Barnabas is hard to fool. He knows when people are lying to him. Oh. He suspects I may be lying to him. But he isn't sure, and as long as he isn't sure, he won't risk exposure and destruction. And you really think he'll leave Maggie alone? I'm certain of it. But he knows her memory might come back. What's he going to do about that? Nothing. He's got to do something. Yes, he has to trust me and believe that her memory will never return. He doesn't believe you, and he doesn't trust you. He told me so. Well, after tonight, he will. That letter is more of a threat to him than Maggie's memory. If he believes there is a letter. He does. Well, how can you be sure? Oh, I saw his expression as I left him. He was frightened. Scared, Barnabas? Definitely. Oh. Barnabas doesn't scare easy. Well, he's frightened now. And as long as he is, Maggie Evans is completely safe. Was she lying to me? Is there a letter? Would she expose me to save Maggie Evans? No. I don't believe she would. But she might want me to be destroyed in the event of her own death. So possibly she did write such a letter. Wait a moment. The night I brought her to this house, I threatened to kill her. She had to say anything to save her life. She said she wasn't afraid of me, but she was. If there were a letter, she would have told me about it then. She was lying, I know. Too bad, Dr. Hoffman. You weren't clever enough. Maggie Evans must die tonight, and no power on this earth can prevent it.
Sarah. Sarah. I know you're nearby. Where are you? Where are you, Sarah? Sarah! Dr. Hoffman was wrong. I know it. She didn't fool Barnaby. Nobody can fool him. He just let her think she fooled him so she'd leave him alone. Now he's going to kill Maggie Evans tonight. The same as he killed Jason. Or well, at least Jason deserved it. She doesn't. And who'll be next? David, probably. Then Devlin. Then anybody who gets too close to him. And all I can do is stand by and watch as long as I live. I'll live with death. People dying. And worse. I can't let it go on. I gotta do something. I gotta warn Maggie Evans. Tell her to get out of town as fast as she can. That's right. I could do that. I gotta do that. Uh, what's the use of kidding myself? I won't. I can't. If I did, Barnabas said no. He'd kill me or worse. So I have to stand by and let it die. All of them. One by one. All of them will die. And there's nothing I can do. Nothing at all. Nothing. Did you hear something? Yeah. Look, over there. There's a man moving in the shadows. Quiet. Don't make a sound. Let's see if he goes near the house. sure did. Is he dead? Well, if he isn't, it's a miracle. He's got about five bullets in his back. Uh. 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 You sit right down here on the sofa. I'll put a pot of coffee on. Hmm? Who was it? Willie Loomis. I know. Go He's the one. now. He's dead. I'll go back to leading a normal life. Well, she can resume a normal life, all right, but the man isn't dead yet. Sam, I'd like to use the phone. Go right over there. George, you mean to tell me that that man's got a bat full of bullets and he's still alive? That's what I mean. Fred, get on the car radio. Tell headquarters to get an ambulance out here right away. Right. Alive? It's all right, Maggie. He's no longer a threat to you. Hello. Yes, this is Sheriff Patterson. Get me uh, Dr. Woodard, please. Look, Sam, maybe Maggie ought to try and get some sleep. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I couldn't sleep. None of you still out there? Oh, come on. Now, you heard what George said. He's not going to hurt you or anyone else ever again. Sam, I would like you all to stay here uh, for the time being, anyway. What for? I have some questions I have to ask you. Hello. Dave? 
Yes, I'm still up here at the Evans cottage. Yeah, we got the kidnapper. The trap worked perfectly. Willie Loomis. <laughs> That's what I said. No, no, he tried to escape and my men gunned him down. But he's still breathing. You better get up here as fast as you can. Right. Willie Loomis. Hard to believe. He seemed like such a harmless person. Yeah, it is, it is kind of a shocker. I mean, he's the last person that I would have suspected. But why? Oh, I don't know. I guess we kind of expected to see a big, overpowering man. Really small, quiet type. Well, I guess you can never tell about people. Well, how well did you all know him? Actually, we hadn't seen him. Uh, we'd seen him hardly at all since he went to work for Barnabas Collins. But he wasn't always a quiet type. Let's not forget that, sir. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, when uh, Willie first came to town with uh, Jason McGuire, he was surly, arrogant. He was mean as could be. Yeah, and he had ideas about Maggie then. He even made a pass at her one night in the Blue Whale. Well, did you ever see him again after that, Maggie? Only once. And then that was after he'd gone to work for Barnabas. But by then he was almost mild and timid compared to the old Willie. And he did apologize for what had happened at the Blue Whale. Well, what was this sudden change that came over him after he started working for Barnabas Collins? No, it seemed to happen overnight. All of a sudden, he was a completely different man. None of you ever wondered why? Well, I guess everybody was so happy to see the old Willie gone that they never bothered to ask. I see. Well, we've got our man, and at the moment, that's all that matters. You couldn't have made a mistake. A mistake? Well, suppose that Willie was out there for some other reason. Maggie, what other reason could there possibly be for me out there? I don't know, Joe. I just want to eliminate all doubt. Maggie, I don't think there's any doubt about it. He came out here at 3 o'clock in the morning, and my men were very careful. They waited until the last possible moment, until they were absolutely sure that he was going to break in here. Sheriff, Dr. Woodard just arrived. Good. Tell him I'll be right out. Hi. Another thing, Sam, the night that you and I went to the Blue Whale to set the trap, Willie was there. That's right, he was. Maggie, I don't think I have any more questions for you tonight. Why don't you try to get some rest? I couldn't sleep if I tried. Well, that's the ambulance. I'm going to go out and uh, talk to Woodard before he takes Loomis to the hospital, and then I'll be on my way out to Collinwood, I guess. We'll call him what for? I want to talk to Barnabas Collins. I think he should be notified, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I guess he should. Poor Barnabas. He tried so hard to be kind to Willie. It's going to be a terrible shock when he finds out. Who could that be at this hour? Sheriff Patterson. Mr. Collins, I'm uh, sorry to disturb you. May I come in? Yes, of course. Oh. Uh, this is Miss Hoffman. She's gathering some research material from some books in my library. What do you do? Sheriff. What can I do for you, Sheriff? Mr. Collins, I'm afraid I have some unfortunate news for you. Oh? You have a man that works for you, uh, Willie Loomis. Has something happened to Willie? About an hour ago, he was caught trying to break into Maggie Evans' bedroom. He was shot on the spot. Willie has been shot? Yes, he's been taken to the hospital, but he's in very critical condition. Well, I, I don't understand. Mr. Collins, we have reason to believe that Willie is the man who kidnapped Maggie and the man responsible for the attacks that have taken place in town. Sheriff, I... I don't know what to say. I... I never dreamed that... Willie could have... done something so violent. Mr. Collins, I know this must come as a great shock to you, and if uh, you'd rather not answer any questions now, I'll put it off. But at your convenience, I'm going to have to ask you some questions about Willie's behavior lately, his daily and nightly habits. Oh, yes, yes, of course. You say that Willie is still alive? Barely. I assume that you haven't yet been able to obtain a statement from him. No, we don't think there's much chance of that. 
Do you mean you think he's not going to live? Well, Doc Woodard is going to do everything he can for him, but I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Dr. Woodard is operating on him? Yes, if anyone can save him, Woodard can. Would it be possible to go to the hospital and see Willie? I'm afraid not. Well, I trust that uh, Miss Evans is all right. Has any harm come to her? No, Willie was shot before he got into the room. The poor girl must be must have been terrified. I would like to uh, see her and let her know how badly I feel about all this. I know it's small consolation after what she's gone through. But... Well, I have to go back out to the Evans cottage now myself. Uh, you can both come along with me if you like. Thank you, Sheriff. I would appreciate that. Uh, we'll be right out. Certainly. He's still improving? His heartbeat's almost back to normal. He must have the constitution of an ox. Or else he wasn't hurt as badly as we thought he was. Oh, no. When I brought him out of that operating room, I wouldn't have given him one chance in a hundred. Must have been the transfusions that did the trick. But you definitely think he'll live? Well, it looks that way, Julia. As long as he continues to respond to the transfusions. Well, that's wonderful, Dave. I wish it hadn't been necessary to give him that sedative. But you had to. He was in terrible pain. Well, I know, but he's going to be knocked out for a couple more hours now. It'll be just that much longer before we know what he has to say. Mm. Of course, he, he may not confess. He may try to lie his way out of it. There's no telling what he might say. You know something, Julia? What? I'm beginning to think the sheriff is right. About what? He doesn't think that Willie was the kidnapper. He doesn't? No. The more I think about it, the more I'm inclined to agree with him. Why? Well, if Willie did kidnap Maggie, where did he keep her? And why did he do it? Why does an insane man do anything? If he is insane. He must be. Possibly. I'd give a great deal to know what he's going to say when he's able to talk. Yes, so would I. Julia, will you stay with him for a minute or two? I have another patient down the hall that I have to look in on. Of course. Oh, and if you have to go out for any reason, will you send the nurse in? Willie has to be watched every minute to make sure that he doesn't move and to catch that needle in his arm. I understand. I'll watch. All right, thanks. I'll be back as soon as I can. them everything. Barnabas will be exposed and destroyed. I'll never be allowed to practice medicine again. Perhaps he won't talk. No, he will. He must save himself. be so easy to silence him permanently. No one would ever know. It would be so easy. So easy.
Uh, he moved. I was afraid he might have dislodged the, the hypodermic needle. But he hadn't. Uh, no. He stopped perspiring. He's not nearly as pale as he was. I know. I'm convinced you're right. He is going to live. I know you're in pain. I'll give you something for it right away. But first, listen to us and try to answer what we ask you. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? No. I'm your doctor. I'm Dr. Woodard. Doctor? You're in the hospital, Willie. You were... Well, you were hurt. Uh, but you're gonna be all right. Hurts. Everything hurts. Willie? Uh, I'm going to have to ask you some questions. Questions? Why were you trying to get into Maggie Evans' bedroom last night? Maggie? Yes, Maggie Evans. Why were you trying to get into her room last night? Why, Willie? Don't. Don't what? Don't hurt me. No one's going to hurt you, Willie. I just want you to answer my question. Why were you trying to get into Maggie Evans' room last night? Is it dark? What? Is it dark outside? Yes, it's nighttime, Willie. Why? It's dark. I'm afraid of the night. Don't let it be dark. Please, don't let it be dark. What's he talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. Don't hurt me. Please, don't hurt no me. No one is going to hurt you, Willie. Now, calm down. You won't hurt me? Of course not. Just lie still, Willie, and, and relax. There's something I want to show you. Show me what? Can you identify this ring, Willie? Ring? You've seen it before, haven't you? Whose is it? Whose? Yeah, who does it belong to? It's mine. It's my ring. Where did you get it, Willie? It's mine. You stole it's it, didn't you, Willie? You stole it from Maggie Evans. Maggie? Maggie Evans. And the ring. I'm afraid. And I know why. I know. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? No? Are you certain you don't recognize me? No. Who are you, a doctor? That's right. 
I am a doctor.